Good evening. Hello, everybody. How are you today? William, welcome. Sir, yes, sir. And also, Evelyn, hi. It's a pleasure, Evelyn. Welcome. Okay, let me check. Hello, hello. Do you copy? One, two, three. Okay. Today we're going to start with a new unit, right? Unit number two. What is the unit number two? Well, the name is ongoing activities at the workplace. So activities that are, you know, happening in the moment in the in the company, in your company, right? Here, for example, I have the company of right Evelyn, that is Municipio de San Martin is Alcaldía, right? The major city of San Martin. Francisco is uh, Aeromantenimiento. Sir, yes, sir. And William Antonio is uh, Lopez S.A. So your company, what activity do you do? This is the question, right? Okay. Welcome. Hey, Wilfredo. Hello, hello. Brenda, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. Polar wants to say welcome. This is Polar. Hey, Carlos, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Okay, let me check. Let's begin, right? Let's start with the class. We're going to... Uh, Check a presentation. Just give me a second here. I will open the presentation for tonight. Is the presentation number six, right? Okay, basic number two. Presentation number six, right? This is the one. Today is August. Monday, August 28th, right? This is the date. Hey, Moises, welcome. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Thanks. Okie dokie. Okay. I have some messages. Let me read. Oopsie. Okay. Uh, Maria says, no problem, Maria. I understand. Okay. Let me copy here. Today is August 28, right? Maria del Carmen Resinos Mendes. Okay. Uh, Brenda. That's okay, Brenda. Okay, very good. Let's begin, right? Let's share the presentation right now. Okie dokie. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new class in Safor, Inglés Corporativo, and the teacher Javier Gomez, right? Polar, Dudley, and also Dino. Right. Here's Dino. Hello, everybody. Good evening. 
say welcome to this class. The, today we're going to introduce the topic frequency adverbs. Okay? Frequency adverb. This is the topic for today. And we use the, the frequency adverb in the simple present, right? Okie dokie. Let's continue. And the objective for tonight. You need two ongoing activities at the workplace, right? So, please, Carlos, can you read the objective for the class, please? Uh, yes. Please, read. I will be able... I will be able to say how frequently I don't and activity in the workplace. Excellent. Also, Carlos, okay. So you're going to show the frequency of the activities in your company, right? In the case of Carlos Armando, for example, is Rodeo Swiss Boring, right? Yes. Yes, Rodeo excellent. <laughs> okay, the activities and the frequency, Carlos, that you make those activities in your work, right? For example, how frequently I... do you make reports? How frequently you call clients? How frequently you... Know, you... Everything is a uh, check um, machinery, matching. Uh, machinery, uh -huh. interesting. Machinery. Excellent. So how frequently you, you check the machinery, right? Every day, uh, always... A diario, como se dice? Every day? Every day. Or you can say, Carlos Armando, you can say always. I always check the machinery, right? In my company. I always check the machinery. Excellent. That's, that is the, 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 the uh, topic for today, right? Now, this is the same question. Look, Carlos says, how often do you check? Well, this is another activity. How often do you check your email at work? For example, Moises, how often do you check your email? Um, three, always, uh -huh. every every day, three. Every day. Uh, every day. So um, it's always, always, right? Always. Mm -hmm. You um, always check your email. Mm -hmm. Y decir uh, en en tres momentos, ¿cómo sería? Uh, uh, three times. Three no, three times a day. Okay. I will copy three. for you. I will copy for you. Wait, wait, give me a second. Three times a day right right so yeah check my uh -huh. email three times a day mm -hmm. three times a day so i check my email three times a day oh you can say look another option is i always check my email. So, Moises, you have two forms to express the frequency of your activities. Number one, with time expression, for example, every day, three times a day, every Saturday, uh, three times a month, every year, uh, every Sunday, every morning etc cetera, etc cetera. so expression that indicate the frequency and the okay. second option is to use frequency adverb we're going to see in a moment i will show you in a moment right okay let me Thank see you. now here we have the word often often means frequently many times for example when i say how often do you check your email and you say Every day. So often means the times that you make an activity. For example, uh, how often do you eat breakfast? Right? Frijolitos, cremita, platanito, huevitos, <laughs> you know? Every day, you say, right? So often means the times that you make this or the frequency when you make one activity, right? That is often, often. Order. Order is an internal document that is created by a business to confirm a purchase. Compra, compra, to confirm a purchase. For example, 
let me say in aeromantenimiento, that is the place where Francisco works, right? Is the document that you say, you need to buy, I don't know, what 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 can you buy in, in aeromantenimiento? For example, maybe some tools, you know, herramientas for the reparation of the, for the airplanes, right? So the order is the document that indicates that you are going to buy, va a comprar algo, right? So that is the order. It's the document that in this case, we can say, for example, in aero mantenimiento, right? Say, we are going to buy, I don't know, for example, uh, 20, 20 uh, screwdriver, you know, uh, desarmador, right? I don't know. It's just an example, right? Okay. Good. Believe. Believe is accept something as true. For example, El Salvador is nice. Cling. You believe that El Salvador is nice. Because if you go to El Tunco, ta -na 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 -na, to surf, right? You say, oh, El Salvador is nice. Or you go to Volcán de Chaparrastic in San Miguel, right? Oh, excellent. Or Conchagua in La Unión, you know? Oh, beautiful. Fonseca Golf. So you believe that El Salvador is nice. You believe you are sick that is something is true. For example, uh, you believe that Barcelona is the champion in, in, in Spain, right? You believe that. You accept that's true, right? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, good. So this is, this is belief. This is the vocabulary, right? Okay, then we have a conversation. Listen, please. The conversation, he says, how often do you check your email? And then it says, every two hours. It's similar to Moisés, right? Every two hours. And, and you? In El Salvador, the translation for and you is Ivo, right? In El Salvador, <laughs> and you. And then it says, um, well, I try to check it as often as I can, as frequently as possible, right? And how often do you call your clients? Hello, call your clients. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Remember I say order, right? Do you call clients? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Yes, you are right. So this is John, Sean, and Anna talking, right? Sean and Anna talking, and, right? So this is the conversation. Okay, I'm going to do something. Before I continue, I will check the, the attendance. <laughs> Where is my pen? Sorry, give me a second, please. Okay. Uh, today I will check the cameras on, please. Este día vamos a chequear que todas las cámaras estén encendidas. Solo tengo permiso, ha pedido permiso Mateo. Dicen, porque tiene problemas de conexión. Y luego tengo a Brenda que ha pedido permiso hoy. Vamos a ver, María del Carmen. Que ya casi se conecta. Nadie más me ha pedido permiso. Vamos a ver. Eh, Moisés. Oh, today is my birthday, say Moisés. Oh, excuse me. Congratulations. Ok. Dino, come on, Dino. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Moisés. Moisés. Happy birthday to you. 20 years, right? 20 años. Congratulations, right? Moises. Moises. Uh, as, as, as 25. Oh. As a mita with a candle, you know, con una candela. Oh. <laughs> yes, congratulations. <laughs> Claps. Hey, come on, class. Vamos a reaccionar todos con, 
con, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Deseándole lo mejor a nuestro amigo aquí, Moisés, ¿verdad? Tanana, 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 tanana. Congratulations, yes. Y que cumpla otros 40. Ah, no, no, sorry. <ríe> 25, right? No, está sin botón ahí, Moisés. Congratulations, right? Ok, good. Así que no hay problema, puede retirarse temprano a comer esa cenita, ¿verdad? Especial. Lástima que no, no nos puede llevar, Moisés, a comer, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Al okay. final del curso lo, lo voy a invitar a, a un buen chocolate. <risa> ok, nice. Good. Luego me ha pedido permiso eh, María René. María René, vamos a ver. Aquí estamos con María René, de listener, right? Y hasta aún estoy el trabajo, dice Brenda Lee. Brenda Lee. Ok, solo tengo entonces que me han pedido permiso Mateo por la señal de internet. El... Teacher. Brenda Lee, ajá. Uh -huh. Pero estoy disponible para participar. Solo Excelente. es que no puedo mantener la cámara. Solo la cámara no vaya, entonces, ok. Yo pero también. sí. Sí puede participar, Brenda Lee. Muy bien. Sí, claro. ¿Quién más tiene permiso de la cámara? Vamos a ver quién. Ah, yo escuché que me dijeron, yo también. No, yo también. Ah, Mateo, para sí. Participar, aunque no, sí. La cámara. Yo no sé, yo sé, Mateo. Gracias, gracias. Yo lo sé que usted tiene problemita ahí con la, con la señal, ¿verdad? Y por el trabajo. Muy bien. Este, quiero, aquí está Mateo Torres Romero, sí por la cámara. Y ya dije María, María René y Brenda. Brenda Lisi puede participar, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Entonces vamos a ir viendo las cámaras, a ver si las tenemos encendidas. Ada, cámara encendida. Congratulations. Welcome, welcome. Eh, Carlos, cámara encendida, Carlos. Te se me hizo Carlos. Ahí está, excelente. Also. Congratulations. Francisco está de oyente, dice, ¿verdad, Francisco? Bueno. Pero si puede participar, aunque sea el chat, Francisco. En un momento enciendo la cámara, aún no llego. Está bien, tranquilo, Francisco. Usted fíjese en la calle, no me verá chocar, por favor. Yes. <ríe> Lo esperamos. Eh, Delia. Excelentoso, Delia. Present, Present. Elsa. No Present teacher. Okie dokie, welcome. Eh, Erenia. Bueno, ha venido Erenia. Uh -huh. Ok, Evelyn. Present teacher. Eh, cámara encendida, excelente. Ya sé que cuando requiere atención el bebé, pues ya sé que la, la paga, no hay problema. Ahí estamos entendidos, Evelyn, no se preocupe. Freddy. Freddy nos pierde, siempre va para otro país, ¿verdad? Ingrid. Ingrid. Jessica Araceli. Ya no vino Jessica. Bueno, qué lástima. Jessica Carolina. Jonathan. Ok. Kenia. Present teacher. Ahora okay. estoy aquí en, en el segundo. Por eso no sí, tengo la cámara. Lunes y, y miércoles. Lunes y jueves. Y jueves. Lunes y jueves. Está bien, yo entiendo, no se preocupe. Ahí. Con toda la atención a su papi, oiga. Muy bien. Eh, Mateo, Mateo ya está. Luego tengo a Moisés con cámara encendida. Eh, ya es. Alexi. ¿Está Alexi por ahí? Hello, hello. Ok, eh, Wilfredo. Ok, presente, oh, teacher. Excelentoso, Wilfredo. William Antonio. Present. Ok. Ahí estamos, William, con todos los poderes. Y por último, Wilmer. Present, teacher. Ok, welcome, Wilmer. Yeah. Excelente. <laughs> Alguien, ah, Ingrid, excelente, oso Ingrid. Bueno, chicos, perdonen que dediquemos tanto tiempo a esto, pero ya saben que es un requisito de Insafor, ¿verdad? Tenemos que hacerlo al principio, 
en medio y al final siempre, ¿verdad? Porque nos, Insafor nos exige. Se pierde un poquito de tiempo, pero ni modo, ¿verdad? Es un requisito que tengo que hacer todas las noches. Ok. Ahora vamos a compartir. Let's continue with the class. Y tengo un mensaje aquí. Ya no puedo extender cámara por... Va, está bien. No hay problema, Amarilla. Estamos a sus órdenes ahí. Ahí me avisa cuando pueda. Marisha del Carmen. Mari en inglés, ¿verdad, Mari? Ok. <laughs> Welcome. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue with the conversation. Now, again, please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Ready? How often do you check your email? Repeat, please. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it. Check it. As often as I can. Come on, repeat, repeat. That's why I want to check, right? Por eso quiero ver las cámaras, para que todos estén repitiendo. Excellent. I like it, right? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? How often do you call your clients? Clients. I often call them. Call them. Check it. Call them. I often call them once a week. On Monday. Once means one time, right? One time. But I usually call them on Friday to check their order. I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Clients? Yes. I always call them. I always call them. Third thing in the morning. Thing. First thing. Third thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact. I believe it is important to have contact with them. With them. All the time. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. You are right means you're correct, right? Okay, now again, but this time, ma, uh, more, uh, no, more, no, <laughs> this time faster, faster, right? Faster, okay. Again, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. How often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday.
but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Good. Now, it's time to practice, right? Ada, you begin, please. Let me see that pronunciation. Ada, you can do it. Ada is going to be Anne, right? And let me see, Brenda Lee, you're going to be John. Brenda Lee, John. Okay. Ada, Anne, right? Ready? Okay, give me a second. <laughs> excuse, excuse, excuse me, excuse, excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, we present tonight Ada and Brenda Lee. Action. FC number one. How often do you check your email? Um, every three on your and okay. you. Wait, 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 Ada. Every two hours. Every two hours and you. Well, as I try to check in as often as I can. And how often do you call your client? Uh, hi. Often call the... the Listen, Ada. Listen, Ada. Repeat. Call them. Call them. Call them. Call once, them. Once a week. In when on Monday, but I swarity call them on Friday to check they their order. Do you call clients? Clients? Say other clients? Clients. Clients. Yes, I always ca call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important as <laughs> yeah, yeah. to have contact with them all the time. You 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 are right. Congratulations. Nice. Okay, very good. This is the presentation, you know, the first couple breaking the ice. La primera parejita quebrando el hielo. Okay, now uh, we'll have Carlos versus, no, Carlos versus, no, Carlos and, and Delia, right? Uh, of course, Carlos is John, and Delia okay. is going to be Anne. Ready? One, two, three. Carlos, Action. John. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Okay. Is uh, how often how often do you check your um, email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it a while off as I can. Of often do you call your client clients? Okay. okay. Uh, listen, Carlos. How often? Say how. Often. How often? Okay. Good. Do you call? Your client, clients, 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 Delia, clients. <clears throat> well, I often, I yeah. mm. Delia, I Delia. often call. I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call call them on Friday to check theirs, to check their order. Do you call clients? Boy, boy, boy. 
Yes. I always call the, the first thing in the morning. I believe it's the important to have contact with them all time. You're right. Okie dokie. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, Delia and Carlos? Very nice. Good effort, right? Now, Elsa, please, and Evelyn. Elsa, you're going to be John, and uh, Evelyn, you're going to be Anne, right? Go ahead. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I try to check it is it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them on a week, on Monday. But I usually call them on the Friday to check it, to check their other. There. Do you call there. clients? Uh, listen, their, their order. To check their order, do you call clients? Yes. I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Excellent. So nice, right? Okay, now, Francisco, help me, please. You're going to be John. And uh, Ingrid, you're going to be Anne, right? Are you ready, couple? Okay, wait. Give me, give me a second, right? Action. You begin, Francisco. Francisco, Francisco, 10-4, Do you copy? Oh, perdón. <laughs> okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours and you. Well, I try to check, check it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often, I often call, call them on. Okay. on Listen, um, Ingrid, sorry for the interruption. Call them, call them. Call them. I call them, call <clears throat> them. Once, on once, week. no, no, once, once. Once a week on Monday. But I usually call call them on on Friday to check their order. Do you do you call clients? Ingrid? Okay. Eh, creo que se le cayó el internet a Ingrid. Ingrid? Ok, voy a terminar la, la conversación con, con Francisco, ok. Do you call clients? Ah, ok. Ingrid? Yes. Se, permita, aquí está otra vez Ingrid. Eh, se le fue el internet por un ratito, ¿verdad Ingrid? Yes. Ok, vaya. Entonces, termina aquí, mire. Do you call clients? Do you call clients? Ajá, Francisco. Yes. Yes. I all call them. First thing in the morning, I believe it is important to have contact with the, them all the time. You are right. My goodness, congratulations, right? A pesar de que el internet está... Yes, congratulations. Yes, Ingrid, Francisco, very nice. Gracias. No, 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 gracias, Ingrid. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> ah, okay, it's an English class, remember. Okay. <laughs> Then I have uh, Mateo, please. You're going to be John. And Moises, you're going to be Anne, right? Okay, ready, boys? One, ready. two, three. Okay, how often do you check your email? Every two hours, and you? Well, I try to check it, it as often as I can. And how often do you call your clients? I often call them uh, once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday 
to check their uh, order, uh, do you call clients? Yes, I'll, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it is important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. My goodness, extraordinary. Thank you. Thank you, right? Now, look at this. Uh, this expression is like you put together, you link it. Link it, right? It's unirlo. Link it. Remember when you say, eh, ¿Cuál es el link? You say, Páseme el link del video. <laughs> okay. Link is to put together. Unir, right? Link is unir. So you say, check it. Listen, check it. Also here, look, call them. Call them. It's together, right? Call them. Call them. And other, uh, other thing that you need to check is this. There. You don't say there, no. No suena la I. La I no suena. It's there. There. It's similar to the expression there, allí, there. And they are, look. It's the same pronunciation. Allí, there. Y ellos son, you know. So we say there, there, there. <laughs> the same pronunciation, right? There, there, there. Okay, okay. Now, we're going to have the next couple that is going to be uh, Wilfredo and William, please. Wilfredo, you are John. William, you are Anne. Okay, guys, let's do it. <clears throat> One, two, three. Wilfredo, you're, you're John. Wilfredo? It's okay. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Why? I try to check at, as often as I can. Um, how often do you call your clients? I often call, call them once a week on Monday. But I usually call them on Friday to check here the their order. Do you call claim? Yes, I always call them first thing in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay, okay, thank you, right? Just remember this, check it, check it, check it. Okay, baby, you can check it, check it, right? Check it. Nice. Okay, now, uh, Wilmer, I'm going to be John. No, no, I'm going to be Anne, right? And Wilmer, you're going to be John, right? To finish the, the circle of the group, right? Okay, uh, Wilmer. Okay. Are you How ready? Often... Huh? Ready. How often do you check your email? Every two hours. And you? Well, I'll try to check it as often as I can. Uh, how often do you call your clients? I often call them once a week on Monday, but I usually call them on Friday to check their order. Do you call clients? Yes, I always I, I always call them first then in the morning. I believe it's important to have contact with them all the time. You are right. Okay. Now, this part is difficult. Listen, third thing. Third thing. Like, thing. First thing. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. You don't say happy birthday, right? <laughs> or happy birthday. <laughs> because when you say happy birthday, it's eh, feliz día de la cerveza. Right? <laughs> no. It's happy birthday. Huh? Thank you. Happy birthday, Moises. Happy birthday to you. Ok. Pero en su casa no hay problema, Moises. Que le, que le digan verde, ¿verdad? Porque ni modo. ¿verdad? Happy verde. Es que con, con la edad uno cambia de color. Porque primero es el principio azul. Y después ese viejo verde. Dice. El viejo verde. No, usted todavía anda a su lado ahí. Medio a su lado. Ya va llegando verde, pero cálmese. Ok, thank you, Moises. 
And thank you, class, for your participation. Congratulations. Veo que vamos mejorando en la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Todavía hay que mejorar ahí algunas palabritas, pero es, es normal. O sea, es, vamos bien al básico 2 todavía. Ya por el básico 6 y de corridito vamos a tener que leer. Oigan. Ok, now, let's continue, right? Oops, what happened here? Ok, here, right? The frequency other. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, frequency algebra, right? Here we have some examples, right, of the use of frequency adverbs. We have the subject. I, she, he, they, we, you. And it could be whatever. It could be uh, my friend, my brother, my sisters, my classmates, my parents. Fidulais, Fido, Misifus, <laughs> etc., etc., right? So those are the subject. The subject is the creator of the, of the action, right? The creator of the action. Thank you very much, Maria. Ya la vamos a poner a participar. Oiga, welcome, welcome. Bienvenida. Okay, uh, now, and then we have the frequency over. Look, always... Siempre, right? Usually, usualmente, often, frecuentemente, sometimes, algunas veces, rarely, raramente, okay. and never is serious, never. Right? For example, I say, I always wash the dishes. Always wash the dishes. Siempre lavo los lo, lo trastes, ¿verdad? Si no, no hay cena. <laughs> okay. No, no, I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. Usualmente limpia la casa. Bueno, que se vaya un paseo, ¿no? Bien, yeah, okay. He often does the laundry. Hacer la, lavar la ropa, right? They sometimes take out the garbage. Sacar la basura, right? We rarely go shopping and you never dust. Dos es eh, limpi eh, limpiar el polvo, right? Dos. ¿Ok? So, this is the structure. Normally, in simple present, we have the subject and the verb. The subject and the verb. I run. I eat. I drink. She drinks. We run. You drive. Uh -huh. So, subject and verb. But now, to indicate frequency, it's not absolutely necessary. You say, teacher, it's necessary to use the frequency. But, no, not strictly. But if you want to show the frequency, yes. Right. Pero si usted quiere enseñar la frecuencia con la que ocurre la acción, yes, it's necessary to use. Right? Okay, so in this case, we have the structure. Let's look. Subject, frequency adverb, and the verb. This is the structure, right? The exception is sometimes. Sometimes lo podemos poner antes del sujeto y después del sujeto. It's an exception, right? Good. Now let's practice pronunciation. Ready? Are you ready? Repeat. I always wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. She usually cleans the house. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. Take out the garbage. They, uh, they, they sometimes take out the garbage. We rarely go shopping. We rarely go shopping. R rarely. Rarely. You never dust. You never does. Okay, good. 
Now, uh, Wilmer, do me a favor, please. Can you read all the sentences again? Puede leerlas todas de nuevo, Wilmer. Read them again, please. Listen to Wilmer, please. Okay. I always wash the dishes. Wash? Wash? Wash the dishes. She usually cleans the house. He, he often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. The garbage? The garbage? Uh, the garbage. Mm -hmm. uh, we rarely go shopping. You never dash. Excellent. Hey, Wilmer, congratulations. Rarely. This is the correct pronunciation. Yes, nice. Okay, now we have the introduction. Now, uh, what is the ponderation of every, every frequency object? Notice that I have here six frequency objects. Always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. We can say other like uh, almost always, almost never, seldom, generally, uh, what else? I have here some examples in the manual, right? Mm -hmm. uh, normally, normally, right? Uh, occasionally. So these are frequency average, but these are the most common. These are the most common. And notice that always is 100%. Usually it's like 90%. Often it's like I don't know, 60%. Sometimes it's like 40%, right? Rarely is like, I don't know, 10%, 5%, and never is 0%, right? Okay, good. Now, Notice that here we have the position, right? Subject, frequency adverb, and verb. And now this is the correct position. Look, place the frequency adverb before the verb. Siempre lo vamos a poner antes del verbo, right? For example, I say, I overrun. Don't say, always I run. Or I run always. No, no, no. It's I always run. Could be some exception. Right? Podrían haber algunas excepciones, pero normalmente es así. Subject, frequency adverb, and verb, right? Good. But not only frequency adverbs, we have other expression of time that indicate frequency. For example, every day, once a day, twice a week, three times a month, on Saturdays, once a day, once a month, every Sunday, every weekend, right? So here you're showing the frequency, but notice the position. Hey, pay attention. The position of the expression. They are at the end. Si se fijan, estas expresiones van al final, right? But what about the frequency of it, right? It's before the verb. Los adverbios de frecuencia que indican frecuencia antes del verbo, before. But the expressions, these are at the end. Están al final de la, de la oración, right? Eh, Podrían ir al principio. Mm, sí, solo que no es común. Podemos decir, every day I exercise. O or, or you can say, um, I not only that, right? At the beginning or at the end. Mm -hmm. But it's not common. No, no es muy común. It's siempre, siempre van al final, every day. Okay? Now, ready to practice pronunciation? Repeat after me, please. I exercise every day. You listen to music once a day. Mm -hmm. I play football twice a week. 
once a day, only one time, twice a week, two times. She goes out, she goes out for dinner three times a month, right? Cenar afuera, right? No en el patio, sino en un restaurante, right? Eh, normalmente pupusería, you know. Okay. She goes dancing, ooh, dancing on Saturdays. She goes dancing on Saturdays. She takes a nap, you know, siesta, right? She takes a nap once a day. My sister reads once a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. I visit friends every weekend. Okay, very good. So who's going to help me reading? Moises, please read. All the sentences again, please read. Okay. Uh, I exercise every day. Uh, you listen to music once a day. I play football twice a week. She goes out for dinner three times a month. Mm -hmm. Dinner? Dinner? She, dinner? Dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner three times a month. She calls dancing on Saturday. She takes a nap once a day. My sister reads once a month. Reads? I reads. Reads. My sister reads once a month. My sister reads once uh, a month. I go to the movies every Sunday. Uh, I visit friends every weekend. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Okay. Now, uh, here we have some examples, right? And some sentences are correct. Cling. But some sentences are eh, incorrect. So we are going to say, see if it is correct. No problem, right? No problem. But if the sentence is incorrect, and you're going to put I, right? And then we are going to make the correction, right? Let's go to number one, right? I will start with uh, Ada, please. Ada, in your opinion, this sentence is correct or incorrect? Cling or and. What is your opinion, Ada? Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Okay, but let's review, Ada. Vamos a repasar. Dijimos que el adverbio de frecuencia va antes del verbo, ¿sí? Yes? Okay. Ada. He is the subject, right? And checks. What is check? Is it the verb, Ada? Checks? What do you think? No. Chequear, observar. Is it the verb? Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah, right. Y dijimos que el adverbio de frecuencia, en este caso never, debe ir... Antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. es, es incorrecto. Incorrecto, very good. Entonces, ¿le parece? Medita la, la oración correcta, Ada, por favor. Dícteme. He. He never. He, he, he never. She can. Email ah, no, in the. No, no. No, 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 wait, wait, chicken no. Lo que pasa es que Ada ya quiere ir a comer pollito. Perdón, ¿verdad? check. 
se me hace que no, se me hace que no, no hace nada, ¿vale? así que va, después el pollito, oiga, pero después. <ríe> He never checks. <ríe> Check eh, email in the in the evening. Evening, right? Evening. Noche. evening, uh -huh. evening. Correct, right? Thank evening. you. In the evening. He never checks email in the evening. Por ahí me le estaban soplando, no sean tramposos. Yes. <laughs> no me le soplen. Ella puede, ella puede. Oh, permítame. Ok. Sigamos con la otra. Number two, right? Okay, uh, Brenda Lee. We rarely visit friends on weekends. Ah, bueno, permita, se nos olvidó algo aquí, ponerle correcto, ¿verdad? E incorrecto. Entonces, aquí era incorrecto, yes. Okay, uh, Brenda Lee, please. We rarely visit friends on weekends. ¿Qué dice Brenda Lee? ¿Está correcto o incorrecto? Está correcto. It's correct. It's correct. My goodness. It's true. It's correct. Yes. Nice. Let's continue with the next, right? This is for uh, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. They listen often to music in the afternoon. What do you say, Carlos? Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. La incorrecta. Ajá, correcto o incorrecto. Uh, it's easy, Carlos. You have to identify y the action. The action is listen, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Si usted ve que el adverbio de frecuencia va antes de listening, está correcta. Pero si va en otro lugar, eh, usted diga incorrecto. Ok, so. Ok, Carlos. Correct o incorrecto. Correct. Mm -hmm. no. veamos, veamos cuál es el adverbio de frecuencia acá. El adverbio de frecuencia often. es often, often. Right? often, right? Often, yeah. el, el adverbio often va antes del verbo, sí o no, yeah. Carlos? Is before? Entonces está correcta porque el listen, el listen to music. Ajá, ok. ¿El adverbio often va antes del verbo o después en esta oración? Before. Ahorita está después. Ajá, entonces, ¿está correcto o incorrecto? Correct no, o incorrect. Ajá. No está correcto. Incorrect, right? Thank you, Carlos. Incorrect. Okay, now dictate the correct one. Ahora dicteme la, la oración correcta. Sí. Te dice... They... No me le soplen, no me le soplen. No me hagan trampa, no me hagan trampa, no me le den copia. <ríe> no me le den copia a Carlos. Ah, they... Often... They often... Listen to music in the afternoon. Correct. Ok. Vaya, ven que puede, Carlos. Yes. Yes. Ok, thank you, Carlos. Ok, yes. number four, number four, right? Oops, sí, se me fue, se me fue. Ok. She goes sometimes to parties on Friday evening, right? This is for Francisco. Ladies and gentlemen, Francisco, Mr. Alfaro. Ajá, uh -huh, Mr. Alfaro. Correct or incorrect? Number four. Incorrect. Incorrect. Uh -huh. Very good. So now, please, dictation. Dictation, please. She, okay. she sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. On Friday evening. Okay. Vaya, pero le voy a contar algo, Francisco. Este ejemplo se sale del guacal, como dijéramos, ¿verdad? Es una excepción. Usted me dice si estoy en lo correcto o en lo correcto. Vaya. Sometimes she. ¿Está correcta la oración, Francisco? ¿Qué dice? 
Yes. Yes. Excelentoso. Sí me gusta. Yes. Se puede, se puede usar así, pero solo sometimes. Los demás no. Solo sometimes es como que no sale del guacar, ¿verdad? Se puede usar antes de she. O se puede usar después de she. O sea, antes del verbo, podemos decir. Permítame. Sí. Sí, sometimes. Ok, goes to park. Y otra cosa que lo hizo muy bien, por cierto, ¿verdad, Francisco? Es que el verbo goes no se cambia. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos, a pesar de que le hemos puesto un adverbio de frecuencia, siempre hay que decir goes. ¿Ok? We have to say goes. Very good. Ok, Brenda Lee, copiado el mensaje. Good. Good. Now, class, any question? Do you have any question? Now, let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. He never checks email in the evening. We rarely visit friends on weekends. They often listen to music in the afternoon. She sometimes goes to parties on Friday evening. Sometimes she goes to parties on Friday evening. Okay, Evelyn, please, can you read them again, please, for the class? All of them? All of them, please. One to four, please. Okay. She never checks emails in the evening. We rarely visit friends on weekends. They often listen to music in the afternoon. She sometimes goes to the parties on Friday evening. Okay, dokie, thank you. Good pronunciation, right? Okay, class, this is it. Questions? Tenemos preguntas de cómo usar los adverbios de frecuencia, chicos. Do you have questions? Do you have questions? Uh -huh. Porque en la última oración... No le cambio el verbo, digo que se no lo escuché muy bien. Ah, vaya. ok. Eh, si se recuerda, eh, perdón. Kenia. Kenia, oh, sorry, sorry. Excuse me, que no me he aprendido los nombres, qué bárbaro, ¿verdad? Ya, ya vamos dos meses, va, Kenia, no me aprendo su, su, su tono de voz. Perdone, perdone, pero hoy sí, vamos a ver. Ok. Eh, si se recuerdan. Hay un grupo de, de sujetos que es la tercera persona, right? Third person, singular. In the present, of course. Solo en el presente se hace eso, en otro tiempo, ¿no? Que le vamos a agregar una S al verbo. Por ejemplo, she eats sandwiches. Sandwiches. She eats sandwiches, right? Eh, he Runs in the morning. Ah. She run, he runs in the morning, right? Y podemos agarrar otro nombre, por ejemplo, eh, I don't know, Kenya, right? Kenya runs in the afternoon, right? Okay, por favor, presten atención. Uh, in this case, the third person singular, we write an S, right? Le escribimos una S al verbo. Pero si venimos nosotros, le ponemos un adverbio de frecuencia. Always. Sometimes. Or, or never. Right? 
no cambia en nada la acción del verbo. Mire, it's con la S, runs con la S, right? Sí, no cambia, yes? A pesar de que estemos usando otra palabrita ahí en medio, ¿sí? No transforma. En este caso no transforma el, el, el verbo cuando es tercera persona. Kenia, do you understand? Sí, ahora sí. Ok, good. No, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. You're welcome. Good. Any other question, class? Buena pregunta de Kenia. Vamos a ver quién más. Teacher. Vamos. Yes, yes. En el caso de sometimes. Ah, e ese se sale del guacal. Solo, solo, solo con chi. No, no, con he, con... Con, no. ah, con, con todas las terceras personas también. Bueno, en realidad con todos los sujetos. Con todos. Sí, con sí. todos. Aquí lo que pasa es que como estamos hablando del goes, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. Por eso decíamos que era tercera persona. No, pero son todos los adverbios de frecuencia eh, se aplican a todos los sujetos. Primera persona, segunda persona, tercera persona. A todos se le aplica. A singulares, plurales. Sí, a todos. Okay. El sometimes. Ahí no tiene que ver con el, la tercera persona. Solo el verbo sí, ¿verdad? El verbo sí. Pero los adverbios de, de frecuencia a cualquiera aplíquense. Sí. Buena sí. pregunta también. Buena pregunta. Ok, good. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? Perdón, no, no copié. Sorry. Excuse me, ¿alguien me habló ahí? Bueno, me, me hablan otro rato, quizás, no sé si es el internet o, pero no, no, no alcancé a copiar que me dijeron. Ok, let's continue, right? Let me see. Vamos a practicar más. Okay. Ok, good. Ahí estamos ya. Ah, hay más ejemplos. Yes, yeah, sorry. No, no, era, no habíamos terminado ahí. Permítame. Sí, eran cinco, seis, siete. Ok. Y aquí vamos a hacer una práctica. Ok, perdón. Perdón, que yo pensé que habíamos terminado, pero no. Vamos hasta la ocho, ok. So, let's continue. Nos quedamos con... Eh, con... Carlos, ¿verdad? Con Francisco y ahora sería Delia, right? Delia. Ready, Delia? Oscar and yes, his teacher. wife go dancing always. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. What is the correct one? Oscar and his wife always go dancing. Oscar and his wife always go dancing, right? Okie dokie, nice. Number six. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. Elsa, correct or incorrect? Miss Magaña o Maña? Diez cuatro, diez cuatro. I forget again my microphone. <laughs> ah, okay, I understand, right? Necesitamos un poquito de, de cafecito para agarrar el poder ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. <laughs> okay. Sí, tengo sueño. Sí, no, no, este, um, ahí con el cafecito, por favor, va. Okay, I sometimes take a nap. Say, Correct or incorrect? It, it's okay, but ah, we can okay. say sometimes. Yes, we can say two formas. Lo podemos decir de dos formas. Eh, explíqueme, Elsa, de qué forma lo podemos decir? Uh, we can say I sometimes mm -hmm. take a nap after lunch, or, or sometimes, or sometimes I take a nap after lunch. Extraordinary, very good. Yes, excellent. Pura teoría, pura gramática, Elsa. Estamos bien, estamos bien. <laughs> okay. Thank you, teacher. Number seven, please. This is for uh, Evelyn. 
Evelyn, what is your opinion? Number seven, correct or incorrect? Evelyn? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? We exercise. Ah, no, no, sorry. Me pasé. La, number seven, right? My friends oh, play six, usually. Seven. Yes, it's no, no, perdón. It's not correct. Number seven is number seven. It's not correct, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, can you help me, please? Can you dictate the, okay. the correct sentence, please? My friend usually plays soccer on Sunday. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. Usually play soccer on Sunday. Okie dokie, that's the correct one. Now let's go to next one. Next one is eight. Oopsie, sorry. We exercise in the morning always. Ta -da! This is for Ingrid. Miss Chavez de Morales, please. We. Uh -huh. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect, right? And incorrect, yes. Now, dictation of the sentence, please. Ingrid? We always. We always. Exercise. Exercise. In the morning. In the morning, right? Okay, nice. Solamente creo ya. Yes. Good. That's it, right? Now we're going to make an exercise. Thank you very much. Ah, let's practice pronunciation. Practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. Okay, please. Oscar and his wife always go dancing. I sometimes take a nap after lunch. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. We always exercise in the morning. Okay, Wilfredo, can you help me please? Read the sentences, Wilfredo. Again, read them. For the class, please, Wilfredo. Mr. Renderos. Mr. Renderos. Wilfredo. 10-4, 10-4, 4 Okay. So let me see. Um, Maria, please read the sentences, Maria. Okay. Oscar and the if why always go dancing. And sometimes sometime they take a nap after lunch. My friends usually play soccer on Sunday. Well, we always exercise in the morning. Excellent also. Thank you very much, right? Okay. Any extra question? So let's continue now. We're going to make a more difficult uh, example, right? Now, we are going to add an other frequency. Maybe I can copy here, right? Always. Uh, usually, sometimes, and rarely, teacher, and ever. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, teacher, but Tell me, we'll my computer is the auto la batería. So, in the oh. celular, teacher. Ah, okay, but you can participate, Wilfredo. Puede participar. Yes. Ah. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now, what are we going to do, class? 
we are going to use this frequency adverb and we are going to give examples of the activities you do in your company, right? Eh, estas son actividades que ustedes realizan en la vida real en su compañía. Algunas sí, otras no, pero, okay? So we're going to add frequency adverb to this action, right? But before I will take the attendance. En lo que me van escribiendo las oraciones ahí, okay? Eh, voy a tomar la asistencia, okay? Ada? Present. Brenda Lee. Brenda. Carlos. Present. Thank you. Eh, Francisco. Present teacher. Thank you. Delia. Present teacher. Elsa. Present teacher. Erenia. Present. Oh, welcome, Erenia. Ah. Puede participar, ¿verdad? No, no puedo. Oh. Ok, muy bien. Entonces está de, de oyente. Pero ahí está con nosotros, lo importante. Ok, Evelyn. Present teacher. Thank you. Freddy. Ingrid. Present teacher. Jessica Marisol. No, Jessica Carolina, right? Jessica. Jessica Carolina. Jonathan. Kenia. Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Jonathan eh, tenía un compromiso. No sé si él va a escucharlo, no, no, no. pero él iba a ir, iba a ir a, iba, eh, tenía un compromiso ahora. No, ya no eh, sé, no me diga más. Puerto. No me diga más. Moisés lo invitó al cumpleaños, ¿verdad? A no. Que... Y a nosotros no nos invitó. Está en la casa pasos. de Moisés. Está en la casa de Moisés. No tenía un compromiso. Ahora iba a ir a recoger a alguien al aeropuerto. Ah, va, y, está bien. Y después llevarlo hasta, hasta, el, hasta donde él vive. Te... No sé dónde vive. Bueno, esta es hora de que anda manejando. Pobre Jonathan, le tocó pesado. Bueno, espero que mañana esté. Gracias, Delia. Thank you very much. Ok. Eh, Kenia. Kenia. Present, present. Thank you. María. Present teacher. María René. Mateo. Present. Thank you. Moisés. Present teacher. Alexi. Wilfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. William. Present. Wilmer. Present teacher. Thank you very much. María René, está de oyente. Present, dice. Ok, thank you, María René. Ok, estamos. Now, ok, let's, let's continue, right? Eh, ¿Con quién me había quedado? Con Delia. Sí, Delia, ¿verdad? Ok. O oh, con Elsa, ya, ya me perdí, perdón. No, yo ya había participado. Elsa también, ¿verdad? Bueno, vamos a com comenzar con Evelyn. De todas formas, vamos a regresar. Ahí. Ok, Evelyn, please. Eh, know the policies. Eh, you are, Evelyn, you are going to invent the subject. Usted me inventa el sujeto, right? Solo que si es tercera persona, Evelyn me va a decir, en lugar de decir no, me va a decir knows. Ok, let's do it. Ah, sorry, y una, una más. Puede usar cualquiera de los adverbios, ¿sí? Yes? Ready, Evelyn? Mm, lo voy a intentar. Va, yo, si quiere le voy a copiar la oración aquí abajo. Cuando usted me está dictando, yo copio. Know the policies. Ah, um, I usually know the policies. I usually know the policies. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Right? Okay. Next one. Um, Ingrid? Know the regulations. Conocer las regulaciones de su compañía. Parte de su trabajo. Right? So, know the regulations. One example, please. 
usually know the regulation. I usually know the regulation. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Kenya, help workers, help workers. If you want, we can change the, the, the subject. Si quiere, cambiamos el sujeto. Kenia puede decirme she, he, they, we, you, etc., etc. Firulais, misifus. <laughs> okay. Kenia? Okay. Eh, Maria, please. Hola, yes, hola. Give me one example. Yes, I copy, I copy, Maria. Yes. <laughs> yes. Eh, ¿Por cuál vamos a querer? Health Entonces, workers. Health workers. Quiero ver, sería... She always... Oopsie, permítame. She always... In a second. Permítame que no sé qué me pasa aquí. Que... Ah, ahí está. She always is the health worker. Health worker. Health worker. Yes. Solo que le vamos a agregar una S. Help, helps workers. Workers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Maria. Sale de noche, Maria. Oh, nice. Good. Now, after Maria, I have... Mateo, please. Mateo, can you help me, please? Help people. He sometimes help people. Helps people. Okie dokie. Very good. So, uh, Wilfredo? No, 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 excuse me, Mateo, eh, Mo Moisés, Moisés, sorry, <laughs> ya me confundí, Moisés. Y entonces va y pide pollo. Okay. Ahí, me, yeah. ahí me avisa Moisés cuando empieza la celebración para llegar a su casa. Sí, Estoy en medio de, 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 un, de una gran celebrate. <laughs> ah, ok. Big no, pero, celebrate. Pero si quiere, ahí me dice, se pone de oyente, ¿verdad? Ok, solo voy a, voy a hacer esta, esta, ah, este ejercicio okay, okay. y luego quedo de oyente. Sí, ahí no guarda, no guarda pastel, sí. <risa> ok, ready. Ok. Eh, eh, sería... Help the company. Uh, sería... I... I... Usually... I usually... Help the company. Help the company. Help the company. Ok, very good. Okay. Thank you, Moisés. Thank, thank you. you very much. Okay. No, no, thank you. Thank you, Moisés. Now, thank you. Eh, eh, Alexi. <laughs> Alexi. No, okay. So, Wilfredo, please. Advertise the company. Advertise. Publicitar, right? Advertise the company. Este, my boss. My rally, boss. Rally. Rally. Rarely. Rarely. Advertise. Rarely advertise the company. Advertises the, the company. company. Advertises the company, right? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, next one, William, please. Design software, permitamos mover esto acá para que no nos estorbe. Design software, William. María. Oh, María. Ok, aquí me hace. Permítame que me trabe por acá. Ok, here, María. María. Okay. Sometimes. No sé qué me pasa, permítame. 
Ahí estamos, ya. Ok, hoy sí. María, sometimes. Sometimes. Designs software. Designs software, right? Ok, nice. Good example, right? Good example, right? Ok, and to finish, Wilmer, please give me one example. He, she always answered the phone. He always answers. Answers the phone. The phone. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, right? So this is the example how we use the subject, the our frequency ever the ver and the complement right any extra question no questions no question. okay aquí tenemos más actividades pero lo que pasa es que eh, vamos a omitir estas actividades porque uh, tengo una tarea que, que darle, right? Ok, vamos a dejar esto un ratito. Good. Eh, let me see. Nos vamos a ir al, al manual. Creo que hay un micrófono por ahí encendido. Permítame. Ok. Good. Now... Let's go to the manual. Okay, unit number two, right? The conversation, aquí está la conversación. Okay, here we have the, the theory. Look, pay attention, please, pay attention. 100%. I mean, this is not exactly, but this is for you to have an idea how is the ponderation, right? For example, always is 100%. You say, he always get up at five o'clock, always, no? 90% usually. He usually drives to work. 80% normally, she normally checks her email. 70% often. I often have breakfast at work. 50% sometimes. She sometimes uses the microwave. Occasionally, 30% occasionalmente, right? I occasionally work over time. Seldom is 10%. Seldom, right? Rara veces. We seldom uh, take calls at work. And then finally, hardly ever or rarely. He rarely has conferences. He hardly ever has conferences, right? And never, never, never. He said, never get up late to work, right? Siempre levanta tempranito el trabajo, okay? <laughs> okay, good. Now, these are the examples. Uh, I have a message. Tengo un mensaje aquí. Listo, teacher. Ah, ok, Brenda Lee. Ok. Brenda Lee. Yes. Ok, let me see. Ahora vamos a hacer un ejercicio, right? Let's do an exercise. Pueden tomarle un screenshot a esta página o Creo que está fácil, la pueden hacer en su cuaderno, pero igual, tómenle un screenshot, porque vamos a hacer una actividad en grupo, ¿yes? ¿sí? Ajá, ¿ready? Ok. Now we're going to work in group, but pay attention, please. We're going to do the next, right? Nos vamos a reunir en grupo. 
y me van a poner uh, cinco actividades que ustedes hacen en su trabajo, right? Ok, then uh, we're going to answer the question. Les voy a poner esta pregunta para que la respondamos todos, ¿sí? ¿eh? Aquí creo que cabe. What do you do every day, right? ¿Qué es lo que haces todos los días, right? And then, uh, no, pero quizás para no hacerlo muy largo, vamos a hacer solo tres oraciones, yes? Three sentences, yes? Three sentences. Eh, pueden usarme cualquiera de estos adverbios. Por ejemplo, dice, what do you do every day? Y digamos, Wilmer dice, I always check email. Right? This is one example. Eh, puede poner, por ejemplo, I often I often eh, have meetings. Por ejemplo, right? I often have meetings, right? Ok. Otro ejemplo podría ser um, let me see. I sometimes get up late. ¿Sí? Algunas veces me, me levanto tarde, ¿so? Sometimes, etcétera, etcétera. Solo me van a hacer tres ejemplos por alumno, yes. Y los demás van preguntando, what do you do every day? Vamos a hacer la rueda de caballitos. Y solo quiero avisarles quiénes están de oyente. Brenda, Erenia y María René. Si ellas están en su grupo, eh, solo van a estar escuchando. Sí, los demás pues a practicar. Ok, ready? Are you ready? Ok, let me see. Sala de grupos pequeños, right? Vamos a ver. Four group, right? Vamos a hacer cuatro grupos, yes. Vamos a ver si nadie me queda solo aquí. Ok, group number one. Please pay attention. Tomar nota, porque cuando digo grupo uno, a veces... Se les olvida, ok. Group number one, Ada, Brenda Lee, Brenda, que está de oyente, Kenia, and María, right? This is group number one, group number one. Group number two, Delia, Elsa, uh, solo pesos pesados van en el grupo dos. Eh, Mateo, Moisés, que solo está de oyente, Y Erenia, que están de oyente en el grupo 2, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí tenemos a Mateo, Elsa y Delia, nada más. Los demás están de oyente. Yes. Ok, group number 3. Eh, Francisco, Wilfredo, William, Wilmer. Uh, la W se juntó ahora. Yes, excelente. Solo equipo pesado y en el grupo 3 también. Vamos a ver, 4. Yes, Carlos, Charlie, Evelyn, Ingrid, en, ah. Wilfredo Renderos, está en dos grupos. Ah, que Wilfredo tiene, tiene dos dispositivos, ¿verdad? Ahora permítame, Wilfredo, lo voy a dejar en el 3 o en el 4, ya le, voy, ya le digo. Ya quitó uno, mi teacher, ya cargó la computadora. Excelente, very good, Wilfredo. Muy bien. Ok, ready, estamos listos para unirnos al grupo. Yes, repito, tres actividades. Un chico le pregunta al otro, el otro al otro, y vamos a, luego a terminar, ¿sí? Ok, let's do it. Vámonos. ¿Todo bien, Wilfredo? ¿Se pudo conectar? Yes. Ok, Mateo, please. 
Mateo, Carlos, en Erenia, conectar, yes. Erenia, Mateo, please, unirse a su grupo, por favor. Okay, Mateo, and Erenia, please do it. Me, I sometimes Hola. Hola. Perdón, me escuchan. Sí. Ok. I sometimes visit my friend. Esas serían las tres mías. Ok, yo solo leí la, esta última. No sé si la segunda no se me lo voy a oír. La primera. Ah, vaya. Sí. Se las repito para que tomen nota. Ok. I always brush my. Here. La segunda es I often play the guitar. Y la tercera I sometimes eh, M A P Nap N-A-P, sí está. No. Ah, correcto. Sí, sí está. No. Incorrect, Take. sorry. Es N-A-P. N-A-P. <laughs> so, Moisés, you ask me. Pregúnteme a mí. Ah, creo que Moisés está de oyente. No, Mateo. Ah. Sorry, Mateo. Mateo. Ok. Uh, what do you do every day? Okay. I always check my emails. I sometimes have a meeting. Me dijo. I always I always have a meeting. Have Have a meeting. Uh -huh. Yo siempre tengo una reunión. Mm 
que eh, yo puedo poner la otra sería never call take call never, never. Deja, sería never take calls at work nunca atiendo llamadas en el trabajo never take calls at work okay de usted faltaría una verdad Carlos sí 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 William mm -hmm. sorry for the interruption William but is I never take I never sí sí en el caso, Ticha, eh, nosotros tendríamos que decir el nombre de nuestro compañero, ¿verdad? Yes, yes. Eh, I will choose only one. one. I will choose only one. Voy a escoger solo uno, right? And the ah. other read about them. Yes, because of the ah, time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only one student. For example, I say group number three, and you're going to say, uh, okay, we're going to describe William's activity or Francisco's activity. Right? Only, only one student, that's it. But you have to practice. I mean, you have to practice... Eh, Francisco to William, William to Wilmer, Wilmer to Francisco, right? Rueda mm -hmm. de caballitos, yes? Muy bien. Ok, continue, continue. ¿Cuál sería su último entonces, Carlos? Eh... Ok. Y se dijo de que I usually check my report, dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yo, yo... Es correcto. Es correcto. Yo digo, my, my theories on the early bus, buses are usually checking heavy machinery, give maintenance. Sí, ya. Yeah. Y la otra que dijo. Es verdad. Yes, all other activity is the. So I have the meeting. I have the meeting. Twice a, twice a week. Yeah, always in the coffee in the morning, Bella. Yes. <laughs> no. It's the fears. <laughs> It's the fears. Water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. You ready, teacher? In a minute, right? In one minute. Yes. Don't worry. Relax. Yes, no Relax for yes. a moment. Okay, yes. It's, it's okay. Thank you. Okay, ready class? We're going to start with group number one, please. Let's start with group number one. Group number one, please. Uh, in the meantime, I want to check only one thing, right? Uh, Delia, esta noche sí puede tener la entrevista? Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you, Delia. 
Now, group number one, please make the report of only one student, please. Group number one. Solo una estudiante, dice. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, only one. The, you are going to make the description of the activities of only one student, okay? Understand? Mm -hmm. Know your activities, the activity of other mm -hmm. students, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yo creo que preguntaré. Oh. Kenia, Kenia iba conmigo, ¿verdad? <laughs> Kenia no. was, Ma no. María y, y yo, Ada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perdón, <laughs> okay, María. <laughs> Perdón. What do you do every day, María? Every day, I will fill out the reports with the result. Um, usually, do for the air or transfer tests. And I often receive products from the que los pueblos... What else? Okay, repeat please again. Repeat. Okay. I I always fill all the reports. Oh, oh, the report. fill out reports. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Reports with with with. The result. Second. Usually. Le llaman el té milagroso. <laughs> Control la diabetes. Usually. Baja el colesterol. <laughs> <laughs> Do 40, 48. mucha atención. Si estás pensando en comprar un. Creo que no sé quién tiene el micrófono abierto. Yes, I, I, I see oh, many oh. microphones. Voy a hacer una cosa, eh, María. Voy a cerrar todos los micrófonos ahorita y después me enciende el suyo solamente. Ok. Ok. Ok, María. Uh, I usually 40, do. 48. Or transfer test. Mm -hmm. e, uh, I often receive, no sé si así se pronuncia. Yeah, receive. Uh -huh. Products from from the Central. What else? What else? Warehouse. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. I always fill out reports with the results. I usually uh, do 40 hours, 48 hours, 48 hours. Right. Uh, transfer test. I often receive product from the central warehouse. Okay, now Brenda Lee. Now you tell me, right? Say, Maria always fills out. Uh, Maria always fills out reports with the results. Maria usually do 48. Does, usually does. As usually does, 48 hours transfer test. Y María often receive products for, from the central warehouse. Excelentoso. That's what I like, right? Understand? So now, group number two, please. Group number two, ready? So the idea Ay. is that one student report the other student. Un estudiante me va a reportar a cualquier compañerito, ¿ok? I, I, I report eh, Elsa. Elsa, okidoki. 
Elsa, she always has meeting. She often takes the lunch at the at the office. Has. She she always has. I'm sorry. Excuse me for the also, right? <laughs> she always have, has meeting, right? Good. Continue. Yes. Uh, she often takes the lunch at the office. Uh -huh, but in this case, you never say in take. In the office. Okay. Well, you never yeah. say take. You say have or eat. Ha. Okay. Ha. Has. Has a lunch at the office. Okay. And sometimes she wakes up late oh lucky she she wakes up late late okie dokie thank you that's what i like that's what i like yes good group number three please group number three are you ready are you ready i yeah mm. please please Report and uh, William Antonio. William Antonio, okay. Huh? What happened with William Antonio? Uh, um, he sometimes uh, check email. email. Uh huh. He. He hardly ever drives to work. And he never take phone call in the work. Okay, very good. Excelentoso, excelentoso. I like it. I like it. Nice. Okay, number four, please. Group number four. Finish one, two, three, now four, right? Eh, cuatro grupos hicimos, ¿verdad, chicos? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Group number four, please. Group number four. Okay, Ingrid, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Chavez de Morales. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. Who, who, Ingrid? ¿A quién me va a reportar? Wilfredo. Ah, oh, okay. Wilf <laughs> Wilfredo, Ingrid. A Wilfredo. Okay. Me va a Ingrid, uh, Wilfredo me va a reportar. Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, go ahead. He. He. Usually check. Report. Uh huh, continue. He always. In the coffee. Uh, drink. Drink. Drink, 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 right? Drink. Drink. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he, he always drink. Sorry, no. Coffee. Ah, in coffee. The morning. Coffee. 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 Coffee in the in morning. morning. In the morning, right? Okay, the last one, please. Ah. Solo dos. Ah, okay. No, but he, he has oh. the meeting. He has, a week. has meetings. The meeting twice, twice a week. With the cheros or we in the office? In the office. <laughs> I thought with the cheros, right? <laughs> no, <Yes. really. laughs> okay. Only for the cool. one. Congratulations, congratulations. Now I have some Thank questions. You. 
Okay, and these questions are, uh, let's say, for some students, right? Some students. Now, ready? Number one. Number one is eat pizza. Eat pizza, right? Now, question to, to Wilmer. Wilmer, how often do you eat pizza? How often do you eat pizza, Wilmer? Um, how often? Sometimes. I, I okay, often, let me see. I often. I often. Eat, I, no, I often. Teacher, mm -hmm. I sometimes eat. Ah, okay. I sometimes. Uh -huh. Very good. I sometimes eat. I sometimes eat pizza. Pizza. Mm, delicious, right? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, next activity. Next activity is give flowers. Give flowers to the girlfriend, to the wife, to the mother, to the grandmother, etc. Quien sea que le dan flores, right? Give flowers. Good. Now, William, how often do you give flowers? I often... Flowers. Excellent. Also, very good. William, romantic boy, right? Now, yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, how often do you go to the beach, uh, Wilfredo? Uh, I, I, I frequently. I frequently to the beach. I frequently go. Repeat. Go. This. To the I frequently go to the beach. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mateo, please ride horses. Yeah, ride horses, right? How often do you ride horses? I never oh. <laughs> ride horses. <laughs> okay. Only the big brother, right? Solo el hermano mayor nos montábamos, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Moises. Uh, now, uh, María, ¿quién más está participando? Perdón. María René todavía está oyente, ¿verdad? Okay. So, María, please. María. Uh, let me see. Take, take pictures. Take photos, right? How often do you take pictures, Maria? Mm, I never. Ah, never. Yes. And selfies? <laughs> ¿Qué pasó con la selfie, Maria? No. Never. No. Oh. <laughs> ¿Y que no tiene bebés, pues, Maria? No. No, no. Ah, bueno, sí, entonces. Ya cuando, ya cuando venga se va a acabar la memoria el celular. Te voy a foto. <laughs> no. Ok, thank you, María. You okay. never take pictures, right? María never take pictures. Thank you very much. Now, Kenya, please. How often, Kenya, do you read? How often do you read, Kenya? Ok, eh, creo que Kenia está en movimiento ahorita, entonces vamos a, a, a Ingrid, le vamos a preguntar. Ingrid, how often do you drive? How often do you drive? I never. Oh, ok, good. And to finish, ya no fue la hora. Qué rápido. Eh, to... Elsa, Elsa. How often do you iron? Tú 
planchar, right? Planchar. How often do you iron? I rarely iron. You rarely are iron, right? Iron is plancha o planchar, right? So okay. in this case, entonces, ¿qué sería Iron Man? <laughs> sería el hombre plancha, ¿no? <laughs> no, el hombre de hierro. Ok, thank you very much, class. Thank you very much. Me quedo con Delia. Los demás pueden irse a mimir. Solo, solo tomo la asistencia rapidito. Ok. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Say okay. present, right? Uh, Wilmer? Say present. Thank you. Good night. William? Good night. Good night. Wilfredo? Wilfredo? Good night, Wilfredo? Good night, teacher. See you present. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Eh, Alexi? Moisés? Present teacher, okay. see you tomorrow. Happy Thank birthday. Thank you. Nos dejó, Nos dejó. Va. Mañana, tomorrow. Okay, good. Thank you. Bye bye. Mateo? Good night. Good night. María René? María? Good night. Good night, Kenia? Jonathan? Ah, Jonathan está manejando ahorita. Jessica Carolina? Ingrid? Presentation, good night. Ready? Good night. Ready? Evelyn? Present, good okay. night. See you tomorrow, Evelyn. Eh, oyente. Carlos Carpio, present. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Ah, okay. Erenia está presente también y Kenia. Okay, thank you. Have a good night, Erenia, in Kenya. See you tomorrow. Evelyn, ya le dije, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay, eh, Elsa. Good night. El, good night, see you tomorrow. Delia ya nos espera un ratito. Eh, Carlos ya se presentó. Y Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. God bless you. Brenda. Brenda Lee. Present teacher, good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. Ada. Present teacher, good okay. night. Good night. Brenda. See you tomorrow. Ada, bye bye. See you tomorrow, right? Bye bye. Okie dokie, Delia. Any question? Any topic? The microphone, Delia. The microphone. <laughs> only... Yes, teacher. El, uh, con los de frecuencia. Ajá. Eh, yo que yo tengo dudas eh, cuando uno que, que estoy buscando aquí mi mi, mi mi folleto este cuando al fin porque son time puede ir antes y después del de la de la de la persona. Eh, inclusive puede ir hasta el final de la oración I, I like to go to the beach sometimes 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 se puede también pero eh, no, es común, y, no es común y la, las que usted puso en eh, las excepciones que hay frecuencias de la que es cuando va digamos a I go to the beach eh, once a month, esas sí van al final. Ah, correcto, es que vaya, eh, yo expliqué que habían adverbios de frecuencia que van antes del verbo uh -huh. y expresiones de tiempo uh -huh. que van al final del, del, de la oración, ¿sí? Al final de la oración uh -huh. normalmente, ¿no? normalmente. Podrían ir en otra posición, pero eh, por ejemplo, every day. Usted puede decir, uh -huh. every day I go to the beach. O uh -huh. I go to the beach every day. Uh -huh. Pero no I every day go to the beach. No, no. Sino... Mm, algunas veces en, en eh, el every day speaking, right? Podría darse, uh -huh. podría darse, pero es muy raro. Siempre al final. I go to the beach every day. I eat uh -huh. breakfast every day. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I take a shower every day. 
Entonces, los adverbios son sometimes, always, eh, ever, never. Comience con always. Comience con always. Ajá. Sería always, always. Por el orden va. Always. Uh -huh. Usually. Uh -huh. eh, often. So, often. Sometimes. Rarely. And never. Occasionally va después de sometimes. ¿verdad? Occasionally, si gusta ver en el manual, por ejemplo, Ajá. occasionally va ocasionalmente, es como un 30% va después de sometimes. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Sí. Esos son los adverbios y las expresiones Van son al final, every ¿verdad? day, once twice a week, a week twice, twice a, week. a month, uh -huh. eh, once a year. Every Friday, every Sunday. Uh -huh. O también situaciones especiales como every dinner, every meeting. Uh -huh. esa, esa era la, la única que... Sí, sí, es que confunde porque son un montón de expresiones, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Sí, Pero sí. Pero recuerdes, si usted se aprende los adverbios de frecuencia, Delia, entonces diga, uh -huh. ah, estos van antes del verbo. Puto, sí. uh -huh. Sometime, por ejemplo, y el y la tercera persona no sufre eh, o sea siempre se, se le pone la s la a S. la tercera ah, persona cuando, sí cuando uh -huh. se use o no se use el adverbio sí al verbo siempre se le pone la tercera persona solo uh -huh. esa era la, la hasta ahorita en lo que vamos del curso sí solo ese era lo eso es lo que tenía de, de, de dudas. De dudas, no, no, it's ok. Very good. Uh -huh. ¿Y cómo estamos con la práctica del inglés, Delia? Usted es muy buena, ¿verdad? Yo lo sé, pero... No, fíjese, fíjese, teacher, que sí me siento muy feliz porque eh, yo es, le conté que estaba recibiendo clases en el ITCA, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, pero eh, porque nunca habría en el curso este de, de, el de aquí, de inglés corporativo. Entonces, el miedo que le da a uno es que no abran el curso, digamos que de repente bastante compañeros ahorita del curso digan, no sigo. Entonces, eh, y cierren el curso. O que se tengan que esperar, este, nos tengamos que esperar mucho tiempo. Entonces, ¿Eso, se llama, ¿Eso es del ITCA o del inglés corporativo que me está diciendo? No, no, le estoy hablando de, del ITCA y del inglés corporativo. Mm. No de inglés corporativo porque hay otras, eh, conozco a otras personas que están en, con INSAFOR, pero en la UCA, y se esperan hasta dos o tres meses para el nuevo nivel. Mm. Entonces, eso a uno le da como, como miedito, ¿verdad? Y yo sí si estoy interesada... En, en el inglés, pero lo que le quiero contar es que... Usted quiere en, tener en, continuidad, continuidad. Sí. Entonces en el ITCA cerraron el curso. Oh. Porque... Era, ¿Era virtual? ¿Era virtual? No, 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 no era virtual, era este presencial. Era, ¿Inglés los para domingos. el trabajo? ¿Inglés para el trabajo? No, 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 es el, los cursos regulares. Ah, ok. Este, y... Eh, bueno, la cuestión es que cerraron el curso, entonces le digo a mi hijo, me da miedo quedarme, mis hijos los dos hablan inglés. Oh, excuse me, eh, nice, that's why, <laughs> that's why you're good to, right? <laughs> eh, sí, me corrigen. You, you practice bueno, with your sons. Mi hijo, porque mi hija no vive acá. Oh. Entonces, me examiné en el centro cultural. Yo llegué hasta el nivel 7 en, en, en el ITCA. Y me examiné en el Centro Cultural y la, y la conversación, la entrevista fue en inglés y quedé en el nivel 7. Entonces yo me sentí bien porque dije yo, entonces sí, sí aprendí. Nice. Sí, like sí aprendí, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero a mí, aprendió a mí, con inglés corporativo. Me, sí, con usted bien fácil y siento <risa> que sí. Y siento que, que hay, con todo lo que nos manda, yo escucho ahora bastantes posts. Eh, los, y, 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 este, y lo que me gusta es que lo voy, lo voy entendiendo si sí les pongo la, la escritura pero porque en eso a uno le cuesta sí, pero en inglés en... Ah. porque a veces a uno le cuesta a mí me cuesta es, o sea, uno, eso sí tiene que uno aprendérselo entonces, pero si es eh, este, como usted ha aprendido mucho mucho ah, thank you, thank you very much. Y, 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 y siento que ahora es más fácil aprender inglés 
no como cuando usted lo aprendió, cuando uno fue a los primeros cursos que tenía que andar con los folletos. Ahora es más fácil porque todo está más y la forma de evaluar es diferente también. Ahí con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Más fácil. Sí, sí. sí. Así que ahí, a mí me bueno. gusta. Ok, Deli. Gracias, pues, Tiche. Me ha estado participando, me agrada muchísimo eso, ve los videos, ve películas, escucha canciones. Sí, sí. Habla con, sí. su, con su hijo, right? You talk Él me corrige son. a cada rato. Ah, ok, good. So, congratulations yeah. to you and to your son, too, because... Yes, thank you, teacher. He interacts with you, right? Speaking yes. English. Yes. That's nice. Okay, okay Delia, teacher. thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. And remember, See you tomorrow. Any, anytime you have any question in the WhatsApp, in the class mm -hmm. of Zoom, every time. I'm, I'm for you there, right? Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.